So here we go. Finally, we have a game to our hands. Sorry, I uh, forgot to block out the UI. We're going to do that for map two. A player's forces are under attack. This is a best of three, by the way. The winner of this best of three is going to move on into the decider round in... Oh, wait, this isn't even Group B. What is this group again? Group E it is. Okay. Jimiko, of course, the big favorite here. Oftentimes, humans will be a bit afraid to play this map because of how strong the Beastmaster is here. But Chimiko knows no fear. The room service was dangerous at Rara Land. Wait, what? They had room service? Bro, I didn't see no room service. Yo, SNS, how much money did you, did you spend at the bar, by the way? <laughs> Have you done a recounting? I think SNS was by far the guy who spent the most money at the bar, by the way. <laughs> he was very generous. Also to me. Honestly, everyone was generous to me. I had to spend, like, no money at the bar. Like, every time I was at the bar, they were like... Two or three guys being like, "Yo, Remo, want to have a drink? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bu buy a beer for you." And like, "Hell yeah, bro, let's do it." I think I bought like three beers the whole time at Raraland, and every other time I, I was uh, able to uh, enjoy the generosity of others. It was a good time. The phone roaming bill was bigger, really. What are these items, by the way? Jimmyka's losing using up all of his luck here on the first map. He's got the Infi DLC. A player's forces are under attack. More tequila, hell yeah. Dude, I think it started at Raraland. I have newly become a big tequila fan. In the past I didn't like it so much, tequila. Like normally I would have like two or three tequilas and I was would be like, oh, whew, this is a bit rough. Oh, he missed the Dispel! One of them. That's not good. Uh, but yeah, nowadays... Is under siege. It is one of my favorite drinks. Believe it or not. Taking the Keeper quite some time to get back to the main base. Chimiko putting on some pressure while the expansion is coming up. The Keeper needs to clean up these footies now, of course. A couple of them will fall thanks to Entangle. But it's gonna take some time as well. Entangle does have a cooldown. Believe it or not. And Jamigo's hunting down Wisp in the meantime. No second here yet for Angeline. That would help out tremendously if he had one. Panda, of course, they're the normal choice. But no Wisp ready at the moment. Quite a few Wisp have fallen. Oh, that's just a visual bug, by the way. It's not three. It is five Wisps in the mine. Aim got the staff. Gets out easy. And a couple of footy survived. Tech has started. Oh, and the Hunter's Hall for Angeline was also delayed. But at least the panda can be picked up now, finally. One more entangle, one more kill. This Sobe Mask, of course, is amazing. That's so many entangles. Dealing with the Regent Scroll. And hiding behind the arcane. Quite a few footies will go down here, but of course, they are always a sacrifice to the gods. A 
Lemon Mill coming. Chimiko macroing up nicely. Bit of a problem for Chimiko as he didn't clear the Merc camp, so he can't go for those uh, troll bros. Oh, I like the footy illusion scout. It's kind of nice. Sees the Ancient of Lord timing, and Chimiko knows he's got plenty of time. It still is going to take a long, long while until we finally have the bears coming. And until there's bears, there's nothing really for Chimiko to be worried about. The soy mask is so good, though. Look at that mana region. Crazy. But now it's daytime. It's going to be no more Mundo's region for quite some time. Oh, and one of the lords is going to fall as well. The panda is going to come back trying to defend. But one lore has been cancelled. Cancel. I don't want to lose that berserker. It's the best unit you have at the moment. But I think there's no more saving it. Oh, there's a lot of experience as well. New water elemental summon. More wisps going down. This lore is going to get cancelled. Well, don't know about you guys, but I feel like this one might be over. Jimmy could just go for a panda himself here. Keep up the pressure. Pit Lord! Hell yeah! Jamiko is trying to have a bit of fun here. Why not? Oh, nice steal by Angeline. Gets the last and the item here with the breath. Pit Lord. <laughs> oh, he tried to give him the Invo Potion. Didn't quite work. The first little whoopsie for Chimiko this game. Everything else has looked tremendous. Oh, the Dryad. Barely gets away. But the Moon Juice is looking bad. It's looking real bad. Angelina a bit overwhelmed as well. He's got a lot of gold here that he's not spending. But of course, ideally, should be spending. Wouldn't have been too surprised if Chimiko here had gone tier 3, towers, mass tanks. Because uh, he can do almost anything. From this point, Chimiko can do almost anything that he wants to win this game. He is so far ahead. Only now do we finally have the Bear Master training. Levels for Angeline, honestly, not looking that bad. Keeper 4, Panda about to get 3. Some good items. But Chimiko got all that money. As you guys know, money doesn't just make you happy. It also leads you to success. As will be the case here for Chemiko. The pit lord is just a troll, right? Did I miss something in the meta? That the Pit Lord is actually good? No, right? He's just... He's just trying to have fun, right? I'm pretty sure. I feel like the Pit Lord is, not, is very overrated by a lot of players. With the cleave and everything. I always feel like the Pit Lord is only good when there's a big sturdy front line. Like Bear Mirror, for example. And he can't get focused too easily. If that's the case, he's really strong. But most other times, I feel like he's... Kind of... Uh, disappointing. Wow. 
to Miko breaking into upkeep. He's gonna have a big army real soon. Fungan Hayes Breath of Fire, decent damage, but no real follow up. The bear count is still very low. Jimmy also has the double heal scrolls. Playing the safe. Still scouting around for an expansion. Even more tusks coming soon. Breaker's queued. And now we got the level 3 Pit Lord. Going for Cleave level 2, I would assume. Indeed. Holding onto the heal scrolls here as much as he can. Panas already out of mana. And Tomiko hasn't even used the heal scrolls yet. In full control here in this fight. Now might be the time to use the perfect. Oh my god, the value on this heal scroll is going to be so sick. In the potion first, though, on the Pit Lord. Didn't even use it! Didn't even need to use the heal scrolls. The priest is going to do it over time here, it seems. Cleave ignores armor, right? Yeah, I think so. Honestly, I've never tested it. But people have been saying that for years, so... I'm gonna... Believe in the good of humanity here, and say yes. I can assure you that in Dota it does. In Dota 2. For whatever that's worth. Pit in a bit of trouble again. Oh my god, dude. Chimiko is really stingy with the usage of his items here. Oh, kill him with a breath, maybe? Oh, uh, no. Dude, he still hasn't used any of these heal scrolls. Chimiko still three heal scrolls in his inventory. He's doing a bit of micro practice here. He's trying to see if he can still win this game easily, even without using any items. And just microing as well as he can. Guess how will negate the roar? Hmm. Wait, how much damage reduction is how? I think it's 30%, right? So it should. Yeah, I think it's 30% how? And roar is 25. If I'm not mistaken. Miko, of course, takes the 1-0. He is the big favorite here, obviously. He played this clean. Played it well. Angeline, perhaps a bit outclassed. But he's gonna have another chance. In the meantime, Lawlight, I believe, also started his game. We're going to ask him later if that one, uh, how that one went. But for now, let's hop into our second map. Remo, have you read the Witcher series? If so, what do you think? I have not read the Witcher books, no. Um, I have played only the Witcher 3, which kind of makes me a normie. <laughs> I haven't even played the first and second Witcher game. That being said, though, I think the Witcher 3 is one of the best games ever made. I think it is absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, I haven't read the books. I have heard that the books are really good. From quite a few people. Uh, I might read them at some point. Didn't people get really upset 
about the Witcher Netflix series. The fact that a Henry Cavill isn't going to be the protagonist anymore. Right? They're switching the protagonist, the actor. I really don't mind. Gotta be honest. I think the Witcher series on Netflix isn't that good anyways. It's just kind of okay. And... I like Henry Cavill as a person. You know, like from interviews and stuff. But honestly, I, di I didn't really like him so much as the Witcher. I feel like the Witcher character isn't really realistic enough. Also in the games. Like, he's way too grumpy and uh, and uh, all the time. Mm, fuck. Mm. You know, like, <laughs> I could never take him seriously. So, yeah, I have a... Uh, I have no emotional connection to the Witcher whatsoever. Mika with a fast lap. Creep gonna pick up level 2 here right away. Oh, big heal potion. That is really good on the Archmage. Very, very nice. Keeper also creeping a fast level 2. Yo, shout out to Todd with a 57 month resub. Dispel. Oh! Yo, Ankes in chat. Ankes is from Poland, so he actually knows the original uh, Polish Witcher voice. So, wait, Ankes, what are you saying? What you're saying is that in Polish, it's not so exaggerated with the deep voice? Because that bothered me in the game and in the series. How they were trying to make him, you know, make him have such a ridiculously low voice. Yeah, I feel like that was a very bad decision by them. But now, they've had Geralt have such a weird voice for such a long time, I guess they have to keep doing it. But then again, the new Witcher game, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a female Witcher. Would be my guess. Which I think is cool. You know, Geralt is fine and all, but... Time for some new blood. Alright, so we got the expansion coming up here. So far, no peasants have died. But that is about to change. Probably. Oh, first and I. Oh, nicely done. Did you see that? He dodged the attack by putting the peasant in the mine. Chimiko, as always, microing excellently. Bro, has he not lost a peasant here? Are you kidding me? So this is a footy corpse. Another footy, also denied. Holy crap. He just crept concealed hill without losing a footy. That is outrageous. Walking the keeper right after. Can't staff out at the moment. I guess now he can. Does he get a peasant kill finally? Oh, there we go. He got one. <coughs> Archers behind enemy lines. Ooh, reveal. Scary. Oh, but the keeper's coming back with the staff. That's pretty nice. But so is the AM. Oh, he didn't buy a dust. It's kind of weird. Oh, keeper almost surrounded. I don't think he's going to get out of this one. It's going to cost him a TP here. Oh, I didn't kill any peasants. Instantly on point with the repair. Chimiko saw this one coming as well. Bruh. He's playing so well. So when all is said and done, two peasants have fallen. But this was an excellent early game for Chimiko. So this is the new creep rod, right? Lab into instant expansion. I'm still not sure if that's really better. It doesn't give you... Oh no, wait, he also crept this one. Okay, wait, I, I, okay. I kind of missed that. I was about to say, it doesn't give you the claws item, but it does.
Another nice deny. Keeper's still on level 3, but he's about to be. One more footy shall suffice. Chimiko, once again, far, far ahead. That's just the nature of these open qualifiers, you know? We're gonna have some mismatches here and there. But the decider round should be pretty hype. If it is Chimiko versus Infi, which should be expected in this group, then that could be pretty good. Yo, Ankes, how did you like Cyberpunk, by the way? I played Cyberpunk myself, and I started it a couple of times, and I always played it for like a few hours, and I was like, man, this is really well made with the story and everything. But just being in the world and playing it wasn't that much fun to me, honestly. I was just played it a couple of hours, and I was like, eh. Do we know what race Infi will be playing? We do not. But uh, recently, he's been playing Undead most of the time. Oh, he dropped the Periapt to eat the heal pot. And now the AM is very healthy again. Oh, the Ancient of War goes down. And Angeline is in some real trouble. Jimiko poking. Prodding. Slowing down the opponent as much as he can. And going with the Alchemist this time. Okay. I tried to encourage to, I tried to encourage uh, Chimiko for a long time in this matchup to play tier three with Panda second and Alchemist third, and he told me he was gonna try it, <laughs> but I never saw him try it. <laughs> so, so uh, he may not have tried it in the end. But I felt like, at least in my head, you know, it could have been good maybe. Like Panda second because you get him out early, you have the Breath of Fire, you level him up. In the late game, you have some good AoE healing with Alchemist, because level 1 heal spray is actually really good. Obviously, level 2 heal spray is better, but uh, level 1 is already quite nice. But I guess the question is, if you can have a Paladin or an Alchemist, why would you go Alchemist? But I'd say the Alchemist is a little bit less level reliant. But the annoying thing with the Alchemist is, you know, if he's standing there channeling the heal spray and you have to kite back, oftentimes he's out of position, he's low armor. But, uh, yeah, whatever. And up for Angeline. Is level 3? Yes, it is! Alright, double level 3 acquired. Decent hero levels. We got the bears. This is normally a pretty strong timing for the Night Elves. Yeah, Chimiko's army is still very small, actually. Oh! I didn't realize this until now. On this map, oftentimes, when the Night Elf have, has map control, like right now, they can even steal this camp away. But if you start your creep route with this camp first, then the Night Elf can't steal it. That's kind of cool. Come of retraining. On the Archmage, we got Blizzard now. Chimiko is still dancing around his workshop. I like that. Good positioning. Chimiko is trying to get behind the building for wherever the Night Elf is coming from. If he's finding behind the workshop, this would be the perfect position against the bears. Ah, oh, this is so smart by Chimiko. Very nicely done. Out in the open, he might get slaughtered. But behind his buildings, Chimiko should be in a fine position.
and he's buying more time for more rounds of production and very soon Chimiko is going to have a much bigger army. Angeline has not counter expanded which means his time is running out. When the Night Elf has insanely good hero levels like level 4 on the Keeper and level 5 on the Panda he can compete on 1 base versus 2 base but with only 3-3 three, three, it doesn't look likely. pretty hype if Infilator in the decider round plays uh, Undead against Chimiko's human. Ooh, that would be pretty exciting to see. Infi of course always a very macro focused player also when he plays Undead so he would certainly be playing fast expansion. That was one of my favorite series at Rara Land when uh, X-Lord played against Sock. Did you guys see that game? That was pretty sick. That was uh, quarterfinal, right? Yeah, quarterfinal. All right, Shmiko has finally reached full strength. 80 supply, pushing forward, even going tier three, because why not? Because he's always trying to dispel before the Breath of Fire hits, but he hasn't found the timing so far today. Oh, Mountain Giants. MG equals GG. Perhaps not today, though. Dealing with MGs as only tier 2 for human can be pretty tough. But the Blizzard helps. All the bears starting to fall quite low. Chimiko's army mix seems a bit off, right? The front line is kind of minimal. Only four breakers. A lot of sorks. A lot of sorks. Four sorks, four sorcerers, three priests, two rifles. It seems like Chimiko is not losing much. He's got a lot of gold left. Ooh, the blizzard in the back. Archer's in trouble. And now dead. Chimiko still has the one heal scroll. May want to use it soon. First, a bit more heal spray. And there's the heal scroll. Tons of healing for the whole army. And Angeline doesn't have much left to fight with. Tier 3 finished. Oh, Keeper goes down. <laughs> Whoops. T tours. I was trying to see if inner fire and stuff was coming. It is now. Well, I mean, this game's been over for a while, if we're being honest. Oh, wait a minute. The bears come back. They were healing at the fountain. But GFG. And the game is over. And Chimiko makes it to the decision round. As was kind of to be expected. Solid play by Chimiko. Not threatened yet. But his next opponent, if all goes according to plan, should be Infi. And that would be a sick game. So, uh, yeah, let's figure out what's going on. I'm going to try to get the results for Lawlight as well. And then, hopefully, we're going to have Chimiko versus Infi coming up next. First, we go into a short break, and then we'll be back with the next games. <laughs>